In this lesson, we will look at the backstage view. Now, the backstage view is not a term that you will encounter when you're using the interface. What you will see is this tab up here on the upper left-hand side of the application window, and it's the file tab. When you click on it, it will get you to the backstage view. There are a host of application and account settings that you can access here, Plus, it's from here that you'll access the options of the application itself. So there's a lot of significance when you access the options in the backstage view. And we'll use this time and time again throughout the course. And I'll just show you one little tip here that will affect the screen tips. But when you're in the backstage view, you can access information about the current file you're working on, the properties of the file. You can launch a new file based on a blank document or any other templates that you have saved. You can open up existing files. You can save and save as. If you click on save, it'll just return you to the application. If you click on save as, of course, you name the file and you select the location where it's saved. So here's the locations. You can save it to a cloud-based drive service, or you can add a place, or you can browse your file hierarchy, your file and folder hierarchy on your computer's hard drive. You can also print your file, share the file, export the file to other document types, and then you can close out. It's another way of closing the application. Now, be careful when you click on close because that will close what you're doing. When you click on account, you will see the user information of the currently logged on user. When you use one of the Office applications, you're going to be doing so in the context of a user account, and so that's the case here. So I'm currently using it in the context of this user. You can also select your Office background if you want to, and you can see the differences in the upper right-hand side between calligraphy, circle, and stripes. But these are just cosmetic differences. You can also change the office theme that's used. The default should be colorful, which means that Word will give you a blue interface. Excel will give you a green interface. PowerPoint kind of a reddish-orange interface, and so on and so on. You can add connected services so that your save as changes. One of the most interesting parts of the backstage view are the application options. When you click on that, it should bring up a dialog box that'll be specific to the application that you're using. So now that I'm using Word, I see my Word options. So here you see a list on the left-hand side. When you click on that list, then you get the individual options on the right-hand side. And the options in the application options can be overwhelming. So for now, I just want to show you one instance, and then we'll be using the application options throughout the course. Earlier in this module, I showed you the significance of the screen tips in the ribbon. You can manage how those screen tips appear by clicking on the general options, and then right here you see user interface options. Under screen tip style, there's a drop down, and you can show feature descriptions, uh, feature descriptions don't show, show, and don't show screen tips at all. So when I click on don't show feature descriptions and screen tips and click on OK, you can see that now the screen tip just shows me what the command is. Italicize, bold, and it also shows you the keyboard shortcut for that uh, command in the screen tip. But the default, if I go back to the backstage view again, and click on Show Feature Descriptions, you see the difference that it makes because Make Your Text Bold is the feature description itself. So that's a look at the backstage view. Again, we'll be using it time and time again throughout your learning of the application.